Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making a honeycomb soap. We're going to be adding a tablespoon of a local honey that I got from a farm near me. So we're going to mix that into the oils and make this soap. Let's get started. I hope you guys had a great weekend. So we're going to add the lye water solution in the stick blender and we're going to blend it and start the music and we'll come right back. Okay, y'all, let's get this bladder spread off. So the orange is Pumpkin Head by Mad Micah's, Electric Orange, and Eye of the Tiger by Nature Soap. And the yellow is Full Throttle by Nature Soap and Bright Yellow by Mad Micah's. And we're going to put Titanium Dioxide in the white bowl. So we're going to mix these two together. The concept of the soap today is just a honeycomb. So basically, on the top, we're going to put some sunflowers and we're going to put a honeycomb and then we're going to stamp it with a bee okay y'all so i thought about this soap because i was outside the other day in the garden and the bees are being okay they are doing their thing they are out here to pollinate and it is that time of the season before we get too far in the video i just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and for all my subscribers coming back each and every week thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you and i'm glad that you are here okay y'all let's continue to mix and add the fragrance oil so this is a custom blend fragrance oil today it has a little bit of lavender it has some jasmine some lemon some spearmint it's a bright fresh fragrance so we're going to add this in we're going to mix it well and we're going to come back when we're ready to put this open the mold Okay, y'all, we're back. So let's get this soap into this mold. We're going to start with the orange base, and then we're going to add some white in it, and then we're going to put a mica line, and the mica line is going to be bronze brown by Nurture Soap, and then we're going to add the yellow on top. Fun fact, y'all, even though honey is a natural sweetener, it's also used as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and an antibacterial. It's you they use it in wounds when they're treating people patients with wounds and stuff. So how many of you guys actually like honey? Do you use it in your tea? Do you not use honey at all? Are you allergic? Let me know down in the comment section below. So here we're going to add the mica line and then we're going to put the yellow and white layer on top. I'll come back when it's time to put the embeds on.
Okay, y'all, I'm just going to add some Aztec gold mixed with olive oil on top just to give it that golden color like honey. Okay, we're going to add some bubble wrap to the bottom to give it that honeycomb look. And then we're going to add the sunflower embeds on top. Okay, y'all, so I saw this picture of sunflowers that I thought was so pretty. And that's kind of what inspired the sunflowers on the top so i'm going to insert the picture now so i basically just chose the yellow and orange ones to use but all of them are so beautiful i'm going to continue to put these embeds in we're going to spray it with some alcohol and then we'll get ready for the cut Okay, y'all, we back for the cut. So let's take this bubble wrap off and cut the soap and see what it looks like on the inside. The sunflowers look good. The honeycomb on the top looks great. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Okay, so the one thing I noticed off the top is the yellow is not as bright as it was yesterday, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It still looks nice. It's a subtle color. The fragrance is light and fresh, so that's nice. The soap is cute, I like the mica line. Let's continue to cut the soap and then come back for the stamp. Okay y'all, let's stamp this soap. So we're gonna use the same mica, the bronze brown to stamp the soap. made it this far put a b in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed to this channel and like the content please hit that subscribe button join us we would love to have you see you next time